death, what wilt thou wash him from his grave with tears? Yet let me weep for such a feeling lost. So shall you feel the loss, but not for the friend which you be. Feeling so lost, I cannot choose to ever weep for friend. Well, girl, thou weepest not so much for his death as the villain that lives with sure of him. What villain? The same villain, Romeo. Villain and he be many miles asunder. God pardon him. I do with all my heart. And yet no man as he doth bring him. That is because the traitor murderer lives. Say, madam, from the reach of these my hands, that I will none but avenge my cousin's death. We will have vengeance. Then weep no more. Indeed, I never shall be satisfied with Romeo till I behold him dead. Find that means and I'll find such a marriage. But now I'll tell thee joyful pleasures, girl. And joy comes well in such a needy time. What are they, I beseech you, your ladyship? Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child. One to put one to put one from the heaviness has sorted out sudden day of joy that thou expect not, nor I look for. Madam, in happy time, what day is that? Marry my child early next day, Thursday morning to the gallant, young, and noble gentleman the county Paris at St. Peter's Church. She shall make thee a, a joyful bride. Now, by St. Peter's Church and Peter too, she shall not make me their joyful bride. Here comes your father. Tell him so yourself and see how he will take it at your hands. Thy tempest tossed body. How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? Ay, hey, sir, but she will not. She gives you hands, but I was a fool married to her grave. Soft, take me with you. Take me with you, wife. How will she not? Does she not give us thanks? Does she not? Does she not proud? Does she not count her blessed? And worthy as she is that we have brought, so worthy a gentleman to be her bride. Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. How can I never be of what I hate? How? How? Chop logic. What is this? Proud, and I thank you, and I thank you, God. And yet, not proud, Mistress Minion, you. Thank me no thankings, and proud me no prouds. But fettle your fine joints against Thursday next to go with Paris to St. Peter's Church, where I will drag thee on a hurdle thither. Out, you green sickness carrying, out, you baggage, out, you tallow face. God in heaven bless you. You are to blame, my lady, yourself. Hang me, young baggage, disobedient rush. I'll tell you what, get to the church on Thursday, or never look at me in the face. Speak not, reply not, do not answer me. My fingers itch, wife, you scarce thought us blessed, that God had lent us with his only child. But now I see this is one too much, and that we have a curse in having her. Out her, Halloween. Is there no pity singing the clouds that see the bottom of my grief? Oh, sweet my mother, cast me not away. Delay this marriage for a month, a week. Or if you do not, make the bridal bed. In that dim monument where to the lies. Talk not to me, sir. I'll speak no word. Do as thou wilt, for I will be satisfied. <clears throat> oh God, oh nurse, how shall it be prevented? My house is on earth, my faith in heaven. Romeo is banished, and the world is not. That he dares near come back to time. Or if he do, it must be my still. <laughs> as the case so stands, and now it doth, I think it's best to bear Speakest thou from within thy heart? And from my soul, too. Amen. Well, well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much. What is he, my lady? Very well. Ancient damnation, almost wicked find. I'll to the front, but I know his remedy. If all else fail, I have myself the power to die. 